Welcome back, everybody. This is Linear Factorio. My name is Isto. This is episode number six. Yada, 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 yada. So last time, we moved all the steam engines over here, and we set up storage for the crude oil. And I've been doing some thinking about it, and we're going to have to move some things around. We're only playing on a 20 high map, and so I've got to really think about how we're going to streamline all this stuff. So we need to put down these uh, these refineries, right? And they need space behind them for the inputs. At first, we only need crude oil, but eventually we'll need to run water behind them as well. And coming out the front, we're going to need three spaces horizontally for the outputs, for the petroleum, the light oil, and the heavy oil. And once we get, let's say, for instance, we've got like a, a three or four of them or whatever. Once we get off to the left of them, we could then bend these down so that they're kind of running this way, if that makes sense. Um, so we, eventually the outputs can occupy the same sort of horizontal band that the that the refineries do, but as we're producing this stuff, it's going to need to be up here. And I thought about having them be like this and passing the oil through them. But since we're going to need five inputs and outputs, it's it's really not going to work to do it that way. So they have to be like that. So what I'm going to do, uh, this is problem number one that I'm going to deal with at the beginning of the episode. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move these oil tanks over to the right of this coal over here into this section right here. Uh, that's going to be all the crude oil storage. And then the refineries will start right here. And then they're going to move... Uh, the different oils to the left, and then I think the uh, the petroleum and what else? Light oil and heavy oil. I think I'm going to store them here, and we may have to reroute some belts. We may make the belts go underneath the tanks, because the tanks are 3x3, three three, so uh, we can run the liquids underneath them if we need to, and we can also run belts underneath them if we need to. Did my... Oh, that takes a long time to pick up. Okay, so that's problem number one, and that's kind of the approach I'm going to take. Problem number two is the steel production. I made a mistake. It's just a, arithmetic. A lot of times when I'm making videos, and I think other people that make videos can sympathize with this, uh, you're focusing on a lot of things when you're making these videos, and it's easy to mess up on uh, little things here or there. So I said we needed five... Five furnaces making steel plates for one steel furnace. That's not correct. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, and it's pretty simple. Uh, one furnace will make one steel plate every 3.5 seconds, and one furnace will make one... Uh, wait, did I say steel? One... <laughs> there's those little mistakes I was just talking about. One furnace will make one iron plate every 3.5 seconds. One furnace will make one steel plate every 17.5 seconds. That's exactly five times as long as the, uh, the, the iron furnace. And it takes five. So uh, one iron furnace can support one steel furnace. And so I've expanded this to have 12. And then we've got an excess of iron, which I'm pulling through with um, right here, some smart inserters taking the iron off these belts and then merging them onto our iron track because our iron is kind of limited over here to the right. It's running low and it's not very big, so I can't fit a lot of a lot of drills there. And so I'm going to I'm going to supplement our iron supply with this iron supply until we get trains hauling in iron from the far right. That's going to be a little while. Okay, so that's uh, issue number 2. Issue number 3 is um, after we get the steel, the steel is going to be added to our our line here, so we're gonna have basically five things. We're gonna have copper, iron, uh, the green circuits, the red circuits, and steel. That's five. Um, and so that means we're gonna have this much space taken up. See the problem? I don't have room to build anything. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take all of this steel, which is gonna be kind of a pain in the butt, but I'm gonna take all of it and I'm going to move it up to here, to the top where we're not really doing much. And then I should have enough room under here, uh, hopefully to automate the third science pack. And then once we are, uh, we've automated that, we should be good to go. We should be good to go. Uh, the amount of things we'll be able to research will allow us to get into robots and trains 
and uh, enough military stuff to not worry about expanding anymore. So all of this stuff, um, actually, if I'm going to move them out, I could move the coal to the left, and I could start my smelting system way back here, which will give me a little bit more room over there as well. Yeah, that could be handy. All right, there we go. So that uh, that managed to push all of this smelting stuff up to the very top, freed up a ton of space. That's very good. That should allow us to automate the third science pack in this general space right here-ish. Uh, that's nice. Good. We're gonna have some excess iron once we uh, once we build stuff here and have these tracks moved over. Okay, that's one thing. I've also set up the the oil refineries, and I'm actually I'm pretty happy about what I managed to do. So I was talking about it just a minute ago. The oil refineries are five by five, and then we've got two inputs and three outputs. So we're gonna need five distinct, discrete uh, lines of um, of these uh, these pipes going through. And the way I was gonna do it before, it was going to take up ten. 10, 10 rows of our map, which is half of our space. And I managed to squeeze that down to seven, which is pretty good. Okay, so here it is, and I haven't turned the power on yet. Uh, let's see, can I? No, okay, I cannot power both of them with one, so maybe I'll put the power right here for these three. Uh, these ones over here are already getting power. So this is a big mess of pipes, but it's very carefully laid out. We've got two inputs and two outputs or three outputs. So the oil is going to come in here, and we actually, we don't need the water just yet, because uh, for that we need to research the advanced oil processing. But I've, I've made a space for it. So the water is this track here, which is two spaces up from the bottom edge. The oil is here, which is uh, the bottom edge of the refinery row, uh, the bottom row. And so this connects through all these and then comes down here to him the water goes through here uh, to this guy and then I do a similar thing to uh, to squeeze in the what is this one the heavy oil and the petroleum gas so the petroleum gas connects through right here and this ended up taking more horizontal space which is fine I've got an infinite amount of that and it really squeezed it down um, and then the the light oil is going to be uh, hang on, let's let's do some research. Just did character logistics slots. That flashing light is annoying. Okay, let's go ahead and just do the second one. Uh, so the the light oil is going to be like that. Ba bam. Now, how I'm going to store them, I haven't quite thought of yet. What am I doing? Where's my hand? Oh, my fingers are on the wrong keys. Good. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, so, these should be heading off here. Yes, this has light oil. This has petroleum gas. And this has heavy oil, but we need to... We need to turn these guys on, and we should probably add uh, a few lights here or there. There's no space there. All right, I'll just put a light there, there. And there, that's pretty good. So that still leaves us enough space for a train track, hopefully. Um, train tracks are too much. Let me just make one, just for spacing purposes. Where did it go? It's on my bar. Okay. So we could either put the train track at the very top. We're going to be able to get rid of the, uh, the ammo line soon, as soon as we get the laser turrets going. So we could either put our train track there or there. Uh, do I have enough? Hmm, I don't have enough materials. I am kind of curious. I don't think this is enough space to turn a train track around. Uh, but we will have enough room. What we might be able to do is run our train track through here. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. But we may be able to, like, weave it down this way, off to the left, and then have it sort of output here, Maybe. Uh, maybe we'll have to op it to the right. We may have to rebuild a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I've thought kind of a decent amount of uh, what we're going to need going forward, but, you know, I, I don't know. The new problems spring up constantly. Does this need to be here? Can I get rid of this? Um, yeah, that's an issue. Okay, let's 
Let's put another one down just right there, I guess. Okay, so that is, uh, that's that taken care of. Now we've got to move those resources off to the left, and we've got to store them somehow. So that means, uh, let's see. I can run a pipe all the way through here. Can I run a pipe this far? I don't, I don't think this is gonna reach. Ah, it's one space, dang it. <laughs> this is one space too long. Yep, okay, so we're gonna have three spaces there. And then room for a train. Wow, okay, well, I guess that's the way we gotta do it. So that's the way we gotta do it. So here's where I managed to stick the, uh, the three different oil types. So we got the heavy oil up there, the light oil up there, and the petroleum gas down here. I haven't figured out, like when I start splitting heavy to light and light to petroleum, I don't know where that's gonna go. No idea. And also, um, I'm not sure where I'm going to put the the uh, lubricant production because we're kind of, that's a little ways away from me right now. What I want to focus on and get done is automating the third science pack. We just finished laser shooting speed. Uh, I want, I've been upgrading my lasers because as soon as we get them, it'd be nice if they are useful. Uh, someone, there's a post on the forums that basically does a bunch of math uh, that I haven't checked. I'm just going to trust it because why not? That says that the lab efficiency isn't worth it. <laughs> the amount of resources you put into it is not the amount um, you're going to save later on the back end. Okay, what else should I... Uh, okay, accumulators. I'll need those eventually. So I'm running coal and petroleum on the same line right here because we're going to need those to make a few things. Uh, most importantly... Um, plastic. We're gonna start with plastic because I want to make advanced circuits. So that's one of the items that the Science Pack 3 needs. We need advanced circuits. Smart inserters I can already automate, but we're gonna do that a little farther down. And then batteries, which are going to need uh, sulfur to be turned into sulfuric acid to be put into the batteries. But first, uh, advanced circuits. I think this is how I'm gonna do it. Let's see if this works out. Okay, so here, I'm gonna put the battery right here. So then we will have room to uh, pass through these belts like that. Uh, like a so. And it's kind of dark, isn't it? Uh, we'll worry about the power and the light in a bit. Why aren't the lights turning on? I guess it's just now getting dark. So that's where the plastic bar is going to go. Here's the math I did. Maybe I did it wrong. So I'm going to, I've been doing um, the one science pack per second ratio. So these take five seconds. I've got five science pack one uh, assembly machines. These things take six seconds, so I've got six of them. These take 12, so I'm gonna need 12 of them, which means I'm going to need to produce one advanced circuit per second, just for this uh, setup. I'll need more of those for other things later. Um, so that means if these take eight seconds to make, um, I'm going to need to be producing one per second. If I have eight of them, I'll be producing eight per second. So I'm going to need 12, right? Is that correct? Maybe my math is off. But uh, here's the important part, or the, the part we're going to get to right now. Um, the plastic bars are created two per second. And the we need two of those per advanced circuit. And those take eight seconds. So just like the uh, the iron plate to steel plate ratio, one of these, uh, if I'm making one, one uh, what are these things called? Blah, blah, chemical plants. If I'm using one chemical plant making plastic bars, that will support eight advanced circuit assembly machines. So I'm going to need two of these things. I'm going to need two. So let me move this guy over. And let's put another one down. Okay, and uh, we'll worry about the inputs right now. We'll do it right now. This should be, right. oh man, I really wish when you swapped them, they would go back to where they're, when I set up these specific uh, little hotkey guys, I wish they would go back to where I set them. Okay, and now I can't walk between there which I guess we'll just have to deal with. Okay, so there's those guys are threading through there. And so to make that, we're gonna need both the coal and the petroleum. 
So like that, then let's just make sure that I can get the copper line through here. Let's go ahead and use as much space as we can. Yeah, okay, that looks okay. So that's all passing through. Then I will need, um, I need to power these guys. So I could probably, I, could, I won't be able to, oh yeah, there's no line there. Okay, I can do this. And then stick a light there. Good, and we won't be doing it quite like this just yet. We're going to have these guys go down like that. And I guess, no, we don't want them, we don't want them on that side of the belt. So if I have the guy outputting right there, and then we can change where they are right away. Yeah, okay, I want them on the lower side of the belt because the next thing we make is going to be uh, copper coils, um, which will need to be on the top side of the belt. Okay, so that should supply my entire my entire research, and I may need more later, but I'll I'll, I'll create those on a uh, need to use basis. Uh, explosives allows rocketry, which allows rocket defense. So obviously we need to research that. Let's do that. Okay, so that's taken care of. Good. Um, let's. <laughs> this is really getting cramped and complicated. All right, so that's that part of the advanced circuits. Next thing I need is to put copper cable on the other side of the belt. And similar amount of math, these guys make four copper cables per second, two every half second. And we need four, uh, four per advanced circuit. So I'm going to need two of these guys making copper. But I'm going to need a copper uh, coming off of these guys. Which would mean I would need to put them kind of like that. And I need space to pull the uh, the green circuits through. Because we're going to need those later. I wonder, could I make this a bit more compact if I did something like that? Okay, I think I got it all sorted out. I may have been a bit rambling there. It's kind of complicated. I had to reroute the copper just a little bit in order to let the, uh, the, the green circuits have enough space to be able to make it through there. Uh, but it's all sorted out. I also fixed the, the petroleum, li petroleum lines weren't quite connected up right. Uh, but now both the petroleum and the coal, man, I'm fumbling my words. They can both continue to the left uh, along this away. And I think we're ready to add these. I'm gonna add 16. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, so this uh, this operation right here, these two, is enough to support 16. But actually, if I'm if I'm gonna try to do the one per second rule, uh, I actually need to only 12. And maybe it would be better if I only do that in this space because we're trying to get the third science pack automated in as compact a manner as possible. I will need more red red uh, potiony guys or red uh, red circuits later. So we're gonna need more production of that. Uh, let's worry about that later. Let's just get the research going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's twelve. That's producing one per second. And let's go ahead and bring this line over. Wow. <laughs> this linear stuff. Holy moly. Okay, and then this is going to be doing the same thing. Uh, let's see. If I want to... One thing, I, I, I'm i going to be adding another belt here. I do have space to move these guys up one. Okay, so that's good. Just wanted to check that real quick. Okay, so this is going to come all the way down here. And I'm out of belts. I do need to start, uh, after we get the third science pack automated, I'm going to work on um, the automation of some tier 2 belts. And that should help, particularly on the corners here and there. Uh, so those are all going to come out like that. Where am I outputting these? Oh, that's a question. <laughs> Where am I outputting? Hmm. I don't really have space. And why is this... Oh. What happened here? Okay. There we go. That's working again. Uh, one thing I could do... 
I could be using long-handed inserters for the greens. Each of these guys is only going to need two of those per second. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, I would have to move this down a little bit in order to get that to fit. Eventually, we're going to get rid of the ammo. So I could move this science up two spaces and uh, move this belt up one. Oh, well. Okay, let me, uh, let me try to route all that stuff around. Okay, everything is all sorted out. Uh, my brain's a little fried from trying to reroute all this stuff and to make it as compact as it's going to need to be. The research is up here. That seems to be doing well. I have not rerouted the ammo. and I think I'm just going to let it go. And if I notice that we get attacked a lot, I mean, there's a lot of ammo on the belt from here all the way to over there where the turrets are. I think we'll be okay. Uh, the only thing we need left to do to be able to make the turrets our batteries and to do that uh, we need to make sulfuric acid we're gonna do that right after this part right after I'm sure that this is all running smoothly and one thing I do need to do is to make sure that the coils are getting all the way down here to the end maybe they're not um, kind of an inherent limitation uh, no we need to do it like this Okay, that's balanced, because they're all entirely on half of a belt before that. Good. Uh, so now we've got another thing on our belt. That's another thing we need for Science Packs 3. So we're making steel. We're making automated circuits. The smart inserters are very simple, because we basically already have everything we need, and they're made quite fast. So I'm not worried about that. We've caught up with our steel production, so we can bring that down. That is going to be the next thing on the line there. And how that's going to get there, maybe just like this. And I should probably balance that. So, hey, bloop. Okay, let's stop it. Because I'm going to balance it. And then I'm going to need... Uh, let, let's just back up a second. I'm going to need to pull the iron off of these as well. To supplement our iron belt. So, let's go ahead and do that now. They're going to be like that, and we're only going to be pulling the iron belts, or the iron plates. Good. So, they will be like that. So, that tells me that I need to have an underground belt there. And then these guys are going to get merged. So, probably simplest way to do that is like that, and then they're going to need to get balanced. Okay, so that's balanced, and then I will need to work that out. Which one is iron? That is this one. Okay, iron will need to go there. Uh, let's see. I could... Let's do it this way. Hmm. Okay, we will um, maybe merge... Huh. Like that. Okay. So we're going to need an underground belt for this guy. Okay, so that'll be iron. I guess we can go ahead and run that over too, because nothing else is using it just right now. Blah blam. And let's go ahead and pull the copper over as well. I'll worry about petroleum and uh, petroleum and coal a little bit later. Automated construction finished. Blueprints. Excellent. What else can we do? Portable solar panel allows exoskeleton. Definitely want that. Okay, so this is going to come down here. Oh, nope, these are backwards. These are backwards. Okay, and then I might... Let's see, this is getting balanced here, and this side is already balanced. So when we merge them, they should be inherently balanced. If I notice a problem, I'll add a balancer there as well. Okay, what now? Steel, steel, steel. So let's have that come out here. And this is going to need to get balanced as well. Oh, did I run out of belts? Okay, let's go. I just put down a bunch. But it's looking nice. It's uh, it's using. I'm using up all the space I can, basically. I think it's decently compact. This area could be a bit more compact if I really sat down and thought about it. But I think it's okay. I think it's going to be okay. So there's steel. There we go. Bam. Okay, look at that. And let's have these be... Uh, more or less line up nicely. One, two, three. Let's see if I do this. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay, so there's our five items on the belt. That's the majority of our bus. Most things besides those guys we will make locally. So portable solar panel finished. Okay, what else should we make? We're, we are really close to running out of things. Battery equipment we need allows that, which allows what? I don't actually need batteries. They're not totally necessary. Okay, so I'm not even, I'm not gonna research them. Take that, efficiency modules we will need. So let's grab that. Uh, next thing to do would be to start making sulfur from petroleum gas. And then we will turn that immediately into sulfuric acid and store that over here somewhere. And that's gonna be made into batteries. That's gonna be our fourth item. So I think uh, next episode we should be able to fully automate the third science pack and run it in here, 12 per second. Uh, this all looks nice. I think the, the, the factory, gosh, man, I, it's so hard not to call it a fortress. <laughs> Although I guess it kind of is a fortress, but it's more a factory than a fortress. But I think it's going well. Uh, leave your comments below. Did a lot of work trying to get all this stuff to uh, work. Let's see, how's our... Our tanks aren't quite full, but once they fill up, we're going to have a problem. We're going to need to start uh, making lubricant and eventually cracking them so that we can make the most and not have, um, basically not have our supply throttled by these tanks filling up. But there you go. Okay, so that's, that's the end of this episode. We'll see you next time. Next time, Science Pack 3s. Bye-bye.